welcome to Soloed Quest. This is Ed, and uh, we're continuing with our Runebound uh, solo gaming series today. We're uh, well, we're getting close to finish. Uh, today we're going uh, to do the Red Death scenario. Uh, yeah, we're almost done with our gaming series. We're only missing two scenarios. It is the Red Death and uh, the Locust Swarm. But today, yes, it is the Red Death. This seems like a very cool scenario. Uh, I will be using Eldermock today, as per your instructions. Um, so Eldermock was one of the most voted heroes. So he will go having a go at the Red Death, trying to find the cure for Terranoth and uh, help out any way he can. Uh, so yeah, here is uh, his miniature, it's actually painted. Uh, I didn't do this, I actually bought my, my Runebound copy is, uh, is second hand. And it came with Elder Mock painted. So yeah, there's a little plus there. Although I, I gotta say it's not the best job I've seen uh, in the miniature, but oh well, it'll it'll have to do. So um, actually let's just take a very quick look at Elder Mock. Um, Actually, let's take a look at this side of Elder Mock. There we go. So he has uh, his tokens are already here. Uh, he will be um, starting in a shrine. He's starting with two gold uh, in his pockets, and he will have uh, three skill cards. So actually, let me just set him up completely. So three skill cards. I mean, uh, the disposition of the table is exactly the same. Again, I've changed a few of the skill sets. Also changed uh, one set in the market. So I'll show you what we have available in the market in just a, a, a second. So in terms of mock, okay, he has three skills. He has his tokens, his movement dice, which are three. He has his gold and in setup, he will get one trophy. Uh, I'll take a look at that in a second, depending on the skill cards I actually get here. Um, so uh, what does the Elder Mock do? So he has 9, nine HP. Here are his, uh, his um, stats for uh, skill checks. So two body, one mind, two spirit. Uh, not amazing. Uh, he has this ability, restore spirit. So once per turn we can exert to draw one skill card, which means we can just uh, send one of our skills away and draw a new one, which is useful, I guess. Uh, we have this skill right here, Unleash Spirit. Uh, in combat, we can spend one search to test our spirit, minus, uh, oh, plus one, to deal one magic damage for each success. So uh, we will be testing with a, a spirit of three, body, mind, and spirit. Yes, yeah, it's spirit. Uh, so yeah, that, that can be very useful, I guess. So that's Elder Mock. Now let's take a look at our scenario, the Red Death. Uh, I'll be honest, this is the first time I'll be playing this. Uh, both the Red Death and the Locust Swarm, I've never tried them before. And it, this will actually be the first time I'll try them on the playthroughs, the live playthroughs. So that's going to be a first and I think uh, it's going to be fun. Because I will be discovering this uh, along with you guys. So the Red Death. Um, Let's see the, what, uh, what the flavors tells us. So, in the towns and cities of Terranoth, a strange fever is spreading. It turns the skin and eyes red, and it is accompanied by painful pustules and boils. So, not good. There seems to be some sort of disease going on in the Terranoth, and uh, yeah, things don't look good at all. So, let's see what <laughs> the quest actually says. So, this side uh, of these tokens, this is a dormant plague, okay? And this is an active plague, if it's on the black side of things. Uh, the other tokens are ingredients. You must find ingredients through the adventure decks to discover the cure for the plague. All right, let's. Uh, that's that seems fair. Setup: We place one dormant plague in each city and town. Okay, and town. Jesus, place the ground zero story card on space one of the story track and follow its instructions and shuffle, shuffle the rest of the story deck. I've actually uh, left that that uh, card um, here, ground zero. We're taking a look at it uh, in a second. Then flip this sheet over, but use this side if you need to refer to the rules for infection. Okay, so uh, roll to infect. This is the infection, I guess. For each wild rolled, flip a dormant plague to its active side. Ouch. This is called infecting, okay? When infecting, infect the city or town that is nearest to another active plague. So this will, okay, so this will start to spread... Uh, from when there's an active plague, each time we roll a wild, I guess, to, to, to when we roll to infect, this, we will flip one of these plague tokens. When rolling to infect, heroes cannot exert to reroll. All right, so that's it. We roll. If we get a wild, we just flip the white tokens uh, to their uh, opposite side, and uh, we will uh, flip the ones near, nearest to an active plague, which is that black symbol right there. All right, so... 
First, I will actually put the Dormant Plague on each city and town, which is these white tokens. Give me a second, I'll do just that, and then we'll look at the Ground Zero story card to see what uh, instructions uh, are in there. Give me a second. Okay, so that is done. I've placed all of these white, uh, white tokens on cities and towns. So there's quite a few uh, bit of them around the board, as you can see. So again, Burrow Town is infected. Everything happens in Burrow Town. I mean, those guys, poor bastards, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so yeah, but apart from that, there's a, quite a few white markers. Uh, they are a bit concentrated here because uh, there's this bridge with two uh, adjacent towns and then there's Tamalir. So the center of the board is probably going to be hit by this plague, I'm guessing. Uh, so yeah, that's that has happened. I've also flipped our skill cards just so the, to, to see what we got uh, to use in this game. So um, these are our skills right now. We have fast horses, we have stamina and we have exploit defense. Uh, this one seems very good. Uh, we can uh, exert once per combat um, to remove all the shields in an enemy. Uh, so from an enemy combat pool. So th this seems pretty good, I gotta say. Our stamina is also pretty good and uh, fast horses, we can spend one action and one gold while on a road to move up to eight hexes along that road, moving through cities, towns and crossroads. This is pretty good as well. Um, so we basically are paying to just, you know, ride a carriage or, I don't know, rent a horse, something like that. But it is pretty good. I mean, this will, this saves up a lot of actions, I gotta say. But I also like the stamina. So I, I probably will go for the stamina first, but oh well, because this helps us move and it helps us with exploring, uh, doing quests and, uh, and stuff like that. Okay, so that's the skills. Now, as I said, let's take a look at the Ground Zero card, which the, the quest actually, oops, the quest actually instructs us to, to look at and, um, and uh, follow. So the, it says to place one dormant plague in each city in town, place the Ground Zero story card on space one and follow its instructions. So let's actually see the instructions here. On ground zero, the outbreak began in the streets of this city. Story quest, infect a random city. You can number the cities and use the story tokens to pick a number from one to four. Okay, so uh, I'm going to do it exactly by this order. So it's uh, Forge and then Tamalir and then Donsmore and then Riverwatch. So let me pick up the story quest, one, two, three, and four, and let's see. I'll just mix one up here. Sorry, I am not looking. And I'll just drop one. This one. It is Forge. No, it is uh, River Watch. It's the one on the bottom. Okay. Actually, let me put this. I don't know if we will be using the number one story uh, token, but let's see. Okay, so it started in River Watch. Um, the city is now ground zero. It cannot be quarantined unless you have discovered the cure. Okay. A hero in this hex may spend one action to place any number of his or her ingredients on this card. Okay, when there are a uh, number of players plus one ingredients, which will be two, on this card you have discovered the cure for the plague. Okay, we need to get two ingredients then. All right, so infect a random city. That means when we infect, oh God, okay. Th there's a lot of rules here. Um, you need to read the rules for infection. So when they say infect, is it immediately infected? When infecting, infect the city or town that is nearest to another active plague. Um, well, I guess that um, infect a random city can... Uh, is well, I'm guessing when they say infect is to automatically make it an active plague, right? Yeah. I, that's what I'm assuming it makes sense in, uh, in in terms of the story. So this is the ground zero and then things will start to infect uh, starting from Riverwatch and then spreading onto the board. I guess the next one will be this one. It should be the closest one. And then, yeah, the center will definitely be infected as well. Okay, so we need to place two ingredients here. And then that means we have discovered the cure for the plague. Uh, so that will be our priority right now will be to get two ingredients to put on this uh, on this card. Yeah. And I will have to go into Riverwatch to do so, which is kind of a bummer, but oh well. Uh, so roll to infect for each wild rule, flip a dormant plague to its active size. When infecting, infect the city or town that is nearest to another active plague. Okay, I'm, I guess I'd, I'm not rolling. That's what I'm guessing. Because this is ground zero, it means that it, it is infected again uh, already, right? Yeah, 
Okay, so let's continue with the setup for this quest. Uh, so we place one dormant, place the ground zero start on, space one. That's it's in there already, and I've put the little marker in there to remind me and follow these instructions. The rest of the story deck is shuffled, and now we flip this, uh, but use the side if we need to refer for infection. Okay, so when we are going to rule for infection, we can uh, look it up right here. So there we go, more text. Searching for the cure. This guy does not look healthy at all. Uh, so a plague has sprung up in Terranoth. The sickness spreads across the whole of the land. You must find the cure before it is too late. Okay, let's try and do that. So this side again, this is a dormant plague, the white side. Black side of the tokens will be an active plague. A hero takes two damage when he or she moves into a hex with an active plague or when his or her hex becomes infected, okay. We can spend one action to quarantine a hex with an active plague and flip it back to its dormant side. Okay, that is good. Although we can't do that here on Riverwatch because this is ground uh, zero, which, uh, well, not good. Um, what else? Uh, blah, blah, blah. We can spend to quarantine. Removing a plague from a hex is called curing. Great. If you have discovered the cure, a, a hero may spend one action to cure a dormant plague in his or her hex. Wait, a dormant plague. Um, ah, okay, we can quarantine this if we have discovered the cure. So we will have to come here, get the, the, the ingredients in, in the cards from on Riverwatch, then quarantine Riverwatch, put it on white, and then after being quarantined, we can spend one to cure a dormant plague. Jesus Christ. Okay, this token right here is an ingredient. We must find ingredients through the adventure decks to discover the cure for the plague. Okay, we need two of these. After moving the time token, we roll to infect using two versus the number uh, two times the number of players. So that is going to be uh, two dice, two terrain dice. Okay, and for each wild, we will infect either a city or a town. This is going out of place. Okay, this is a lot of stuff to do. Let's hope we don't forget stuff here. Um, before rolling, each hero may become delayed to reduce the number of dice rolled by one. Okay, so if we do become delayed, we roll only one die. Which is good, I guess. During Act 2, yes, this it's not done. During Act 2, for each active plague, we place one story token on the next space of the time track that does not already contain a story token. Starting from the bottom, when a plague becomes dormant, remove the topmost token from the time track. Uh, what does that mean? Huh? When what? During a two for each active plague, place one story token, okay, on the next step of the time track that does not already contain a story token. Okay. Uh, ah, okay, story tokens, which are I guess are these ones as well. The ones that are well, at least they have the same symbol. So yeah, I'm guessing these ones, the ones from ingredients. Um, one story token on the next page does not already contain a story token starting from the bottom. When a plague becomes dormant, remove the topmost token from the time track. Okay. If there are no active plagues, the players win the game. Active. Okay, so we have to put them all dormant. If the time token moves into a space with a story token, or if there are 10 active plagues, we lose the game. Okay, did you guys memorize all of that? I hope so, because I haven't. Uh, so <laughs> let's let's hope <laughs> let's hope this goes well. Okay, so Mock, you have quite the task uh, in front of you. Jesus Christ, you have a lot of stuff to do. So basically, you will have to take on adventures uh, to get ingredients. So I guess that's our priority to do do adventures. We have to start going through these decks to get ingredients uh, to eventually bring them to River Watch. Phew, that's, that, th this is going to be a challenge, I can already tell. Uh, so let's take a look at what we have in the markets right here. Uh, I'm guessing, yeah, we can come here, we, we're just going to take two damage, right? Is that it? It takes two damage when we move into an active play, yeah. So every time we come here, we're taking two damage, so I don't know if we want to go and get this stuff. So we have a, what is this, Moonbeam Flail, whenever you deal uh, this charge damage, you can request one of your unspent. Oh, I like this. Oh, this is good. It's it's cheap and it's good. Uh, contraband, this is just to get us money. Our gauntlets of power, plus two strength. Then we have the thief's tools. When you shop, instead of buying an asset, you can test uh, bot, uh, mind to gain one asset with a gold cost up to twice the number of successes. If you feel become delayed, I like this one. Tribal cloak, each time you roll terrain dice, add one mountain symbol to the results. 
This is good. This is pretty good. I didn't never saw this one. Bottle imp. Uh, one uh, surge mischief. Remove one of your false tokens. Not showing initiative. Oh, I like this one. This is pretty good. Um, Headhunter. Trade value four. You may spend one uh, combat trophy in a city to trade this card. Okay. Four gold. That's nice. And also, what is this called? Obsidian. Why isn't this focusing on this card? Obsidian scale mail. Is that it? Yes. Uh, the first time you are dealt uh, skull damage, each combat round reduce that damage by one. Okay, this is pretty good. It costs twelve though. Um, Wonderstone costs eight. While exploring, you may exert twice to add a symbol that matches your hex to your results. Uh, okay. And uh, last but not least, Farmer's Cart. You can have two goods at once. Also, th these ornaments to trade and the Oak Staff. Once per turn while exploring in a hill or a mountain, you may reroll any number of terrain dice. Okay, so that's uh, what we have in the market. Honestly, I like this bottle limp. Uh, I would go for this first. This is pretty good for combat. Um, and it's very, very cheap. Uh, I also like the headhunter thingy. Um, I don't know. So I will. I can take a trophy with Elder Mock. It's part of his setup, right? We gain one trophy. Oh, by the way, here's the flavor text. I'm sorry for Elder Mock. For you guys who want to read this, this is pretty long. So there we go. Pause the video if you want to and have a read. Hope you've done it. Let's get on with this. Let's get a trophy. I'm going to get a green one because uh, these are quests hard to get, and uh, I also want to get my stamina as soon as possible to help me out with movement. And now let's place Mock. So he is going to be placed in a shrine. Jesus, I don't even know where to start. I, I will tell you right away. Uh, I think we want to... Well, I don't want to go into combat. Because Mock... Uh, I, well, he seems kind of... Uh, I don't know. Kind of weakish to combat. So, I'm going to start, I guess. I could go here. And do this, this. And probably this. Uh, or I could go here. Sorry, go, go here and start doing these, these ones to the right side. So I'm looking for a shrine that has a lot of stuff that isn't combat uh, nearby. I guess these two are the best, the better ones. And they are south, so we can go and uh, deliver those ingredients here if need be. So basically my question is, do I start here or do I start uh, down at the bottom? Um, it's pretty much, I mean... It doesn't really matter, does it? Let's let's start here, I guess. Yeah, let's start here at the Shrine of Ares. There we go. We're starting here. So, we're ready to go, I guess. Uh, st setup is done. I've showed you the markets. I've shown you what we need to do. Uh, hopefully, we will be able to do it. Uh, so, yeah, we're pretty much ready to start, I think. So, Mok, let's, uh, let's get on with it. Let's do some adventures and try to find ingredients. So, yeah. We're starting this. Let's go, guys. Okay, Mok. So, you have three actions. Uh, you are definitely going to spend your first one rolling dice. Uh, I'm going to roll because I'll see if I can get up to the forest. If not, I'll just go into that uh, that green adventure right in there, which is probably a quest, but oh well. So, let's see if I get... I need a, a water and a forest. So, let's see if I can get that. Okay, I, I actually got it because I got a wild, which means I can cross the river. And then I got a forest to come right here. So, okay, cool. I'm, I'm trying, why am I not doing this one first? Because one, it's probably a quest and I won't get the, the trophy right away. So I want to get a trophy right away so that I can learn my stamina, okay? And I want to be, have those four dice as soon as possible to start moving a lot. So yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be our plan. So first action, now my uh, second and third will be to flip this and let's take an ad on an adventure. Okay, this is not a cure. It's not uh, a scenario uh, card. Traveling merchant. Okay, this is an event. So you meet a merchant in a brightly colored wagon. You browse his wares looking for a deal. Re reveal the top three cards of the asset deck and test my strength. If I succeed or fail, I can buy one of these cards. Uh, I can buy one of these cards for uh, X fewer gold, where X is the number of successes. Discard this card and any revealed cards that were not bought. Or I can sell the merchant an ascent or trade him a good for an additional gold. If you do take this card as a trophy. I have absolutely nothing to sell to him. So that won't be uh, possible. 
So I can't do this one, I'll just do the other one. Reveal the top three cards of the asset deck. Okay, so that is, oops, sorry, one. I, I'm betting I'm going to get a twist here. One, two, just to complicate things, of course. No, I didn't get a twist, that, that is the first. Okay, so one, two, three, and test my strength. My strength is two, actually. Uh, mock for, for um, a spellcaster, he is pretty strong, I gotta say. So, one and two. So, zero successes, of course. <laughs> so, um, I can buy one of these cards for um, zero fewer gold. So, basically, I can buy them for what their costs, uh, which is actually good. I, I won't be able to buy this, but I can buy one of these trade goods. So, I have provisions. Uh, okay, minus one uh, movement die, trade value of three gold. When you flip, ah, okay, if I flip in a, uh, uh, in a, uh, in a, what is this, exploration, sorry, I was having a brain freeze. Now, oops, if I, if I flip an exploration gem face down, I can trade this card. So I have one nearby. This is, well, it's not great, because uh, I will ha only have two dice, but might be a good uh, trade. Or this one's... A job, trade value one gold, you may spend one action in a city to trade this. Really, one gold? That's it? Well, I'd rather actually take the three gold. I mean, one gold, that's really crappy. Yeah, that's that's pretty crappy. Um, so, honestly, I'll trade the provisions. Why not? So, uh, what does it say about discarding? Discard... Discard and any reveal cards that were not bought. Okay, so we got these provisions. I'll just, I'll place them right here. And these assets were discarded. I'll go and place them right there. And this one is also discarded. So we did not get this uh, this trophy, which is a bit of a shame. I was hoping to get this. Let me just put things a little bit more into the side here. And have my skill cards on this side. All right, um, so this is still our turn. I, I'm not done with my turn because I'll do a Restore Spirit. I can exert to draw one skill card. Um, I'll actually uh, exert this, uh, this card right here because I don't want to learn this. And I'll draw a new one. So let's see if it's useful. It was a success, actually. Oh, well. Pursuit of Strength. Okay. That's it. That's Eldermock's first turn. Uh, we are, yeah, we're continuing on. So this goes down. It's hitting a story uh, quest space. So let's see what happens here. All right. Uh, oh, no, sorry, sorry. Not yet. After moving, sorry. What is this? After moving, D time token, roll to infect using two. Turn and die before rolling each funeral may become delayed. Okay, so uh, what, well, I'm, I'm actually going to look at the story card first, is it? I don't know. What should I do first? After moving the time token, um, let's just roll the, the for to infect first. So, okay, so we roll two dice. It's uh, one di uh, two dice per number of players. We roll only one. So for each wild, we're going to infect stuff. Okay, nothing has become infected. Good. So let's look at the story. Merchant King, okay. Calamity is good for business, the shopkeep chuckles. People will pay anything just to live. The bastard. How dare he? Story quests. Place this enemy in forge. A hero in forge may spend one action to engage it in combat. Okay, so I'm putting... He's going to be number two, so I'll put number two right here on forge. What else does uh, this say? Forge cannot be quarantined or cured. All items there cost two additional gold. What? He is a trickster, humanoid. <laughs> One search, tax. Your foe loses two gold if able. If he or she cannot end the combat. What? Two surges, backup muscle, deal two damage. If you won, initiative this round, deal four damage instead. What? Is ah, okay. Reward, gain one ingredient or four gold. Jesus Christ, this guy, is, this guy is tough, let me tell you. Okay, so he is in Forge and he might get us one ingredient. Boy, but that, that is going to be a hard, a, hard, um, a hard fight, I gotta say. Okay, so next turn, uh, we have three actions. We have one less movement die right now. So only two. 
Uh, ideally, we're going to roll a plane and a water to get here with one movement action. But And since we're really lucky, I mean, for sure we're going to get there, right? Yeah, let's see. One plane, one water. There we go. There we go. Awesome. So one plane and the wild we use as a water to cross into here. So that is one, two. Well, that was pretty amazing, let me tell you. Uh, so with our second and third action, we're going to have this adventure right here, which means that we just traded this. Uh, when you flip a exploration gem face down, you may trade this card, which we will. So this has been traded. It's going to the discard and it's giving us three gold. So we now have five and we're going on an adventure. And hopefully, please let me get this as a trophy. No, not yet. Okay, that's to pay. Uh, quests. It's all about money. What the hell is going on with Terranoth? Jesus, greedy bastard. The voice of a young maiden calls from a prison cart as it totters by you. Find my grandfather. She yells. <laughs> that was good. He will pay my debts and your reward. So, one action we explore Everton. Jesus, Everton is really far away, guys. Uh, we're here right here and Everton is right there so yeah I, I guess your grandfather will have to wait for a while uh, if you don't mind uh, discover great tavern become delayed <laughs> okay locate the creditor spend one gold to gain one trophy and discard this card or track down the grandfather's hermitage we get one trophy this is really far away I wish I could do this uh, but I can't well at least not in uh, in the near future I'm sorry uh, young girl or young yes young maiden sorry um, so yeah you will have to wait for a while uh, this has been another turn and uh, yeah two adventure gems down zero trophies uh, not looking good and also zero ingredients by the way damn it I really need I really need a trophy this is not good not good at all so okay well uh, I guess we're continuing on uh, this is going to move down once more into a space that has nothing. But after moving the time token, we have to roll two of these. We can become delayed to reduce the number. Do I want to? Not yet. I won't. So let's just roll this. Let's hope there's no wild in these two dice. No, that, no wild. There we go. We're looking good. The, the, the disease is controlled for now. So... Three actions. Uh, Elder Mock, you are going to go on this... No, you're going to go here. Let's see if you can do this uh, quest, actually. So you're going to move. Yes, you're going to move. Actually, once per turn... Oh, I forgot to use my Restore Spirit on the last turn. Oh, well. That's okay. So let's move first, actually. Let's see what we get here. Um, so I kind of... I want to move... I don't know. Well, this one is first, but this is going to be a quest again. So, if I could avoid doing quests, so I can go... Oops. Oops, sorry. What did, what did I do? It was like this, right? So, I could move here for one, and then use this plane. I guess. I'm kind of stuck here, right? aren't I? Yeah, I kind of am. So, I will, I, I'll, I'm going to exert to reroll this die, because this die is not helping me at all. No, it, it actually, yeah, I'll go on this side. So I'll use this plane to get on the road and then use this side. Since I'm on a road, I can use anything to go here. And I'll actually move three like this. So that is one, two, and three. Okay, so that is the first action. And for my second one, I'll just move one space um, to my left. So I'll put myself on top of this um, adventure gem. And now I have one more action to do. I don't really want to do anything, so I'll just prepare and I'll keep one action for the next turn. And I'm also going to use my Restore Spirit. So once per turn, I can exert to draw one skill. So I'll exert my Pursuit of Strength, which I do not need, and I will draw a new one. Possess. Once per turn, you may exert to follow the instructions on one of your quests, even if you are not in the required hexes. Ah, this is good. Why does this cost four, though? This would actually allow us to help the young maiden, but we can't. This is very expensive. Uh, well, that's it then. So, the end of another turn, we have accomplished pretty much nothing yet. So, this is going to move down once again. We have to roll to infect. 
Am I doing this correctly? Let me just actually confirm, okay? Just very quickly. For each wild rule, flip a dormant plate to its active side. When infecting, infect the city or town that is nearest to another active plate. Okay, yes. We cannot exert. Yeah, I'm doing it correctly. Yes. So let's see if anything is infected uh, on this turn. I could actually... Um, I could actually uh, become delayed right now. I mean, I have one of these... I don't know. Should I? I'll not. I won't do it. Uh, becoming delayed, I mean... Yeah. Although this will kind of force me to go around all... Yeah, if this starts to spread too much... That is going to be a big problem, isn't it? Let's, let's not do that yet. Although I have a feeling I'm going to roll the wild right now. But let's not do it yet. I did not roll a while. Thank God. Okay. Um, three actions and one prepare. So, well, we're going to use our first two actions to flip this gem. Okay, come on. Just give me uh, no ingredients, no scenario cards. What the hell? Renegade Orcs quest and Orc incursions, uh, Orc incursions have been growing bolder on the eastern border of Terranoth. The commander at Fort Roderick is looking for fresh recruits to train. So with one action we can go and explore that fort, uh, which is, well, it's not really far away, it's right here. So it's very doable. Um, what do we get there? We can get one gold, or we can draw one combat uh, card, or we can get two bonus combat trophies. Ooh, that's pretty good, but we would need two wilds. Um, okay, so one more quest to do that, uh, yeah. Eventually, we might uh, go there. There was two actions, right? So we still have two more. Let's see if we can get here. So let's spend our third action. Oh, sorry. I have one more die here. What did I roll? Three of the same. Yes, I just rolled three of the same, and they are the three of them are useless, completely useless. Um, that was weird. That was really a weird rule, I gotta say. Uh, okay, so that means I guess that I'll just use. No, I can't even. I I can't use anything here. I'm stuck. I'll have to exert for sure. So I will exert my possess to reroll one of these. Movement dice. Thank God. It's a wild. Okay, what can I do with this wild? Uh, I can get close to this. Or I could actually... Um, well, actually, I'll exert this one as well. And I'll reroll this one. Okay, cool. So we got a hill. So that means we can actually go here. Um, so let, I'll just do that. I'll use this hill and then this wild as another hill. And I'll put myself right in here and I won't use my prepare I'll keep it for uh, another turn or actually I could train I could train but I won't not just yet um, okay so that's the end of a turn and so this is gonna go down once again we have done absolutely nothing this is ridiculous oh boy we need ingredients come on riots um, oh I should have ruled I don't know if I should roll or read the card first I'll just do it the opposite way right now. I don't think it matters. Riots. The populace is difficult to control without a show of strength. Those few who are well enough have taken to the streets demanding a cure. Story quest. So in order to enter or quarantine a city, a hero must also exert and take one damage. A hero can ignore this card if he or she has at least three strength. We do not. We have two. Okay, so if we need to enter a quarantine city... Jesus Christ, they aren't making it easy. easy. I mean, this is already hard, uh, and they are not helping out at all. Okay, so let's roll to see if anything is infected. I... what am I doing? Am I becoming delayed? Again, this is, you know, it's that gamble. Um, should I become delayed? Let's not become delayed just yet. No wilds, okay. We're, we're getting, we're, at least we're lucky on that department. Okay, so three actions and we still have our prepare here. I will, did I, 
Oh, I didn't do the adventure. So our first two actions is going to be just that. Please allow me to take this as a trophy. Okay, it is from the scenario. Let's hope there's an ingredient here. Cure all potion, of course. A self-described doctor offers you a potion he has concocted to heal the sick. It smells terrible. Rumor, you may spend one action in a city or town with a plague to discard the top card of the skill deck. If it has a success icon, cure the plague and discard this card. If it does not have a success, take this as a trophy. Okay, I really like this. Or I can pedal the potion locally. Gain two gold and discard it. No, no, not at all. I'm taking this as a rumor. That's for sure. So let's take it. Let's take this. Yeah, I mean, I'll either get a trophy or I'll get to cure the plague. Uh, if not, I'll get two, two gold and I won't even get the trophy. So I don't care about that. So let's keep this cure all potion. So we do need to go to a city though. Uh, or town, okay, actually. So yeah, we can actually go to this town. Um, yeah, or Tamalir. Maybe Tamalir wouldn't be so bad to cure. Uh, okay, so we still have two actions. Uh, we will see. And I still haven't gotten my goddamn... Maybe Donsmore even, because there's a few things in here. I mean, should I just do a combat? This is ridiculous. I'm getting no, no trophies. So maybe combat would be actually a good idea for us. I mean, I need a trophy. Come on, how hard is it? Okay, let's spend our third action. Let's move. Or not, let's not move, actually. This game has it in for me today. For sure. I mean, what is this? Oh, God damn it. I can't, I don't want to spend my stamina to exert. So that's one wasted action because I can't get out of here in any way possible. Uh, I'll train. I'll, I'll spend my this action and I'll train. I'll get two more skills, one, two, whenever another hero is defeated, gain one trophy. Yeah, this is super useful. I'll do my restore spirit, which means I exert and I draw a new skill. So we've got discipline and battle sorcery. Once per combat run, as a combat action, you can exert and test my spirit to deal two damage. Two magic damage cannot be blocked. This is pretty good, but it, again, it costs four. I can't even get two. I can't get two trophies. So yeah. That's how ridiculous this is. Damn it, this is the end of another turn. This is going to hit here and refresh these two gems. Well, at least I have a gem right now that is close by. Um, and we're rolling again. We're rolling again. And now actually I'm becoming delayed because I don't want this town. I don't think I want this town to be... What the hell? I'm not becoming delayed. Let's just risk it. No wilds. There we go. Okay, our turn. Three actions. Uh, and let's try and do something this turn. Okay, Mock. So let's see if we can get there. Actually, the oh, I've discarded the one that allows me to do quests uh, from far away. That could have been helpful. Jesus Christ, thank God this was for movement and not for the plague. Okay, so we can definitely get here. That's one. And then the second and third will be again to draw a, uh, a card from here, which is probably a quest. It is a quest and not from the scenario. Three counts request. A count at the castle of Sundergaard has put out a call to all attendees of the festival for anyone who is able to come to his land's aid. We explore Sundergaard, which is, oh, it's nearby. It's right there. Thank God. And we can get one gold or one um, exploration card. Or take two damage and take three gold. I want trophies. I don't want all of this stuff, but oh well. Okay, so that uh, goes here. We might do this one soon. Uh, this was how many actions? All three of them, right? Because we moved and then we took the... Yeah, so that was another yet another turn. We have accomplished nothing. We have zero ingredients. This is ridiculous. So this has moved, we will have to rule. I'm not becoming delayed uh, because we just rolled two wilds. But of course, now that I'm saying this, I'm going to roll a wild. Uh, uh, no, I didn't. Phew, okay, cool. Three more actions. Mock, what are you going to do? Are we going to go and do the Count's requests? Um, 
I think we will, because we will take this as a trophy if we actually do it. Yeah, let's just do this. Uh, let's try and get this done. So we're rolling three. Right? What is this? Wait, you can spend on a, with a plague to discard on the skill. Right? Cure the plague. So this cures the plague. It doesn't even say if it's a dormant or active. So I could actually cure River Watch? That's weird. What if I cure River Watch? Then there's no active plagues on the board. That's weird. That's really weird. Look at this. You can spend one action in the city or town with a plague to discard the top card of the sickle deck. If it has a success, cure the plague. It doesn't say it's, it has to be dormant or active. I mean, it doesn't say at all. Uh, damn it. Wait, to cure the plague. Removing a plague. Ah, removing a plague from a hex is called curing. If you have discovered a cure, a hero may spend to cure a dormant. Well, yeah, but this isn't... I mean, honestly, looking at this, it does seem that it, it'll just heal Riverwatch. So, I mean, I'll just... I think I'll actually take that opportunity, that risk. I could just do be doing it wrong and uh, actually spoiling the game completely. But looking at the wording on the cards, it seems that it can just cure Riverwatch. So, you know what? I'll just do that. Let's uh, see if we can get there. So we have three movement dice. What do we do here? Um, so I one, two, three. I can't get to River Watch. That's for sure. Uh, but I can move here for one, then uh, cross this river, and then cross say, another river to go here. Yeah, I can do that. Um, So I'll actually do that. That's my first action. There we go. Now for my second one. Uh, well, I can go into this Sunderguard or I and do the quest. No, no, I won't do the quest yet. I'll, I'll just move there. Or I can go into Riverwatch and then do the cure, cure poison. Cure all potion. Sorry, not poison. What am I saying? You know what? I'll I'll just do this because then I'll get a yeah I'll get if I don't cure it I'll get a trophy and then I can learn stamina and then I'll have another die to try this quest another uh, terrain die so that's yeah that's going to be my second action to move here which means I take two damage right uh, a hero takes two damage when I move into a hex with an active plague okay yeah that's that's right yeah so that's two damage on Elder Mock. Okay, and for my last action, I'll do this. I'll do the cure all po potion. I, I don't see any rule that says I can't do this. I, I, I'll be honest with you. I mean, look at this. You can spend one in a city or town with a plague to discard the top card of the skill deck. Actually, let's just see the top cards. Uh, if it doesn't have a success, we don't even have to bother with uh, the wording and blah, blah, blah. So there we go. There's no success. Okay, so <laughs> we aren't curing anything at all. Um, if it does not have a success, take this as a trophy. Okay, so we just got a trophy. Thank God. I'm spending both of these to learn stamina. That was my, that was what, what I actually needed right now. This is discarded and there we go. We now have one more movement tie. We now have four. Uh, where are my movement dice? Sorry, let me just grab one from my supply really quick. There we go. One more. Great. That, that's good. That's going to help us with movement, with questing, with all of that stuff. Uh, well, that was the end of this turn, right? Yes, that was the last action. So, again, this is going to go down once more. We're going to roll our terrain die. Uh, am I becoming delayed here? Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to go and become delayed right now. 